Kia ora guys and welcome to today's online story time. It's nice to see you're all back with me again. Right, today's story is The Hole in the King's Sock. I thought I'd do another um, big story because you guys can often see that a lot better. This one's by Dot Meharry and illustrated by Philip Webb. Now, we know from previous experience what illustrated means, right? So, children, what does illustrated mean? Can you remember? It means they draw the pictures. I knew you guys would remember. The hole in the king's sock. The king had cold feet. He looked at his sock. There's a hole in my sock, he cried. Get me the royal menders. So the royal menders came running. We will mend the hole in your sock, they said. And they stitched the hole in the king's sock with gold thread. Ooh, how luxurious. I'd love my socks to be sewed up with gold thread. The king put on his sock. That's no good, he cried. The gold is too cold. Get me the royal cooks. So the royal cooks came running. We'll mend the hole in your sock, they said. So they made some dough from flour and water and covered the hole in the king's sock. Now, if you guys knew, you can make glue at home with just flour and water. Pretty sure it's flour and water and that makes a sort of gluey, um, doughy texture. The king put on his sock. This is no good, he cried. The dough is too sticky. Get me the royal gardeners. So the royal gardeners came running. We will mend your sock, they said. They wove leaves into the hole and to cover the king's sock. Hmm. Do you think that would work? Leaves? Leaves and dough? I feel like it's not going to work, but let's see. It could. Might do. So the king put on his sock. This is no good, he cried. The leaves are too prickly. Just then the queen came in. What are you doing? asked the queen. My feet are cold and my sock has a hole in it, said the king. Then knit yourself some new sock, said the queen. I can't knit, cried the king. Then it's time you learn, said his wife. Hmm, good on her. She gave the king some wool and some needles and she put a rug around his cold feet and showed him how to knit. The king knitted all day. Click, 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 went the knitting needles. And at last, the socks were finished. Well done, said the queen. The king put on his new socks. Ah, oh, that's better, he said. And he smiled and wriggled his warm toes. Them. Moral of the story, you can do anything by yourself. So if your uh, socks have a hole in them, maybe your grandma or granddad can teach you how to knit. I know my grandma taught me taught me how to knit. I can't remember now. But did you know you can also knit with your fingers? It's called finger knitting and that's quite fun too. I've made plenty of scarves and blankets out of um, for my teddy bears because I was very little and didn't want to sit there forever. But I remember doing finger knitting and making little blankets for my teddy bears. Maybe that's something you can try at home. It's very cool and you can make lots of socks or scarves all ready for winter. Just another idea. Anyways, bye for now.